are to employment. Um, and we all want the best for our families, and sometimes that means we need to make ourselves better to uh, improve our lives, to make our jobs, so we can get better jobs and support our families. Um, so that is why you all are here supporting that, that initiative tonight. But we are also here, we as a committee wanted to nominate and uh, present a lady here in Cass County who um, does just that. She provides support for women here in Cass County and other surrounding counties. And um, her name is Betsy Beatty. She's the admissions counselor at Triumph University, and we are so proud that she is here tonight with us, and we want to present her the 2014 Empowering Women Award. So Betsy. Thank you.
There's a lot of adults out there with unfinished business, meaning that they have credits, but they don't have a degree. They're scared to make that first step. I want to help. It's okay to be scared, but please don't let it stop you. I'm right there with you with my sleeves rolled up doing this with you because I'm also a full-time trying university student. The days of women staying at home and looking like Donna Reed, vacuuming the carpet in their heels and their string of pearls is over, girls. We have become so much better than that. We have a better defined role in society than being Mrs. So-and-so. We have women not only running, but owning major business. We have a female dean, Mircea Alec, running Trine University School of Professional Studies. Her job alone encompasses seeing over several regional campuses, and she does it with excellence and in high heels. <laughs> what I want to stress is the importance of a backup plan. You have to be able to be self-sufficient. You have to be able to stand on your own two feet and make it in this big world. Whether it's a situation of divorce or death, you may find yourself alone. For me, helping others attain their educational goals is just part of it. It also comes with helping them have the confidence to do so. There's nothing more attractive, or do I even dare say sexy, than a confident woman. So go be one. Don your cape. In closing, I want to say a big, big thank you to my sweet mom, Edith Baby. She's always been my biggest cheerleader, supporter, therapist, outstanding role model, and my friend. My mom has set the perfect example of teaching me how to be a working mother. Thank you, Mama. I do love you. Now, go! You are one in the driver's seat for your life's journey. Thank you very much.